Okay, let's talk about camera morph. Camera morph here. It's for <clears throat> morphing between two or more camera. First, I insert a simple camera, for example, uh, in this direction. I'm here. It's the best way to uh, direct in your <clears throat> camera movement. Select the first camera. I call it camera number one and go inside outside this is our camera number one then i go and come here and uh, camera number two i have to camera number two uh, you, you can insert two camera for the first now as you can see we have two camera that i want to simply <clears throat> morph between them for doing that, you have to select the uh, camera morph or I suggest a better way. Oh, as you can see, it does not active because you have to select two camera and then the camera morph is active. Now you can select it. And as you can see, it's create a morph between number one, as you can see, and number two. But as you can see, it's uh, moving from number two to number one if you blend it. This is our camera morph. <coughs> it's create a new camera from two camera. And this is a morph tag that I explained it morph tracks and uh, its settings. But if you come here and as you can see, camera number one is camera number two and uh, it's this list is important. Camera number one has to be camera number one. Uh, you can first clear it, clear it, and simply click and drag camera number one, and it's begin from camera number one, and then morphing to camera number two. And if you select the blend, and as you can see, you can animate this with graph editor. As you can see, a dark blue camera uh, is here, and it's uh, simply morphing between two cameras here as you can see it's morphing between two cameras and it's that view so you can go to its view and, and the, as you can see you can animate very easily between two camera and you can handle it very well bit blend but if you want to insert a new camera here for example i want to a little bit come at the higher um altitude here you can create a new camera and as you can see we uh, we are in a new camera camera number three nice this is our camera number three i want uh, morphing between this this animation happen so it's very simple going to the tag close it and as you can see we have just two box to create because it is the source mode is simple you can make it a multi. If you select a multi, now you can click and drag number one, number two, and number three. No, as you can see, I make it a wrong because I want to make it number two, this number two. You can select it, delete it, delete it again. I bring it here. This is number one, this is number two i want to select it and this is number three so again going to the camera morph click and drag number two the multi-morph number one number two and then number three now as you can see we have a simple morph between them and you can blend it now as you can see we have a nice animation you can go from its view and animate the blend and as you can see we have a nice blend here and if you select a multi-source uh, interpolation uh, will be occurred here it's very interesting if you select your um, camera number one or camera number two you can change them you can rotate them you can uh, do anything that you want i want to create i want to explain a simple thing here from top view first uh, select some <clears throat> first select some simple camera and its position make it everything at its rotation zero zero okay and as you can see this is our camera it's going from the top 
I want to explain something uh, for interpolation. And as you can see, I copy cameras, camera number one, number two, and some other camera. It's very simple. You can morph between them. Okay. Uh, camera number one. I want to uh, please organize your camera to don't confusing about them and four then you can select four of them and then go into camera morph and as you can see one two three four and this is our morph and i want to explain interpolation soft one what does it mean if you select camera number three and i want a, a very tight angle here and as you can see we have a very tight angle here because of soft one. This is an interpolation. Actually, it's in a spline that camera is morphing, is uh, moving in between them. And uh, as you can see, it's a soft one. Soft two, as you can see, soft two in these corners are more softer. And the linear, as you can see, it's a linear mode. I actually like a soft too. Nice. And as you can see, this is our camera morphing. So uh, another thing called a stabilize. What does it mean? You can select your camera and um, select it, bring it there. Select it, bring it there. This is our camera. <clears throat> that you can rotate it it's very simple and uh, and then you if you select your morph as you can see the morph camera is rotating morphing from this and rotate as you can see and simply rotate <clears throat> and morph into the another and it's rotating right but if you activate uh, stabilize as you can see, it does not rotate. It does not rotate. It's and it's, it's uh, as you can see, it does not rotate at any of the cameras. For example, you select it and rotate in this direction, but because of the stabilized active, it does not rotate and contain and continue its rotation. But if you act deactivate it, it accept the rotation of, of other camera as you can see it's morphing to this rotation another thing that you can stabilizing with an object for example if you want you can create object a coin its position is not important in middle scene and i want to control the rotation of the morph camera with this and as you can see if you uh, rotate it Look at, look at the move camera. It will be rotate in this direction or in this direction, actually. If it's calm it's here, yeah, you can control the rotation with this angle. So any angle that you want to rotate is depend where is that your move camera. So it's an stabilized object. And that's it. You can clear it and we don't need it anymore. Another setting that uh, is very important is the morph tracks. It's morphing. As you can see, we have a four camera with its own setting. Any camera has its own setting. For example, this camera has a focal length. It's its own focal length. You can, oh, we can rotate it again. You can change the focal length of this camera, for example, smaller. And as you can see, because of the focal length in this sitting is active, it means it's morphing, it's converting the focal length of this camera to that camera. Then the morph camera, this, this camera is respect the settings of this changing to the, this camera. So you can go to the tag and look it. As you can see, this is the field of view uh, of this morph camera is going to change to match the another 
and as you can see uh, Uh, and and convert to the and I don't want to stabilize it and now the rotation will be match and rotation and the focal length and any sitting here sense lens or uh, sensor size focus distance depth of field anything f stop shutter that I explained it before you can change him uh, on each camera and the morph camera uh, um, calculate them and morphing from this camera to this camera morphing converting these settings from camera number two to camera number three four and so so this is all about morph and that's it you can create a very interesting camera director with your move setting. But if you deactivate all of these, uh, you have a different camera and it, uh, you have to, because uh, you are in a morph camera, you have to deal with the settings of the morph camera. Select the morph camera, and as you can see, you can access the morph camera and you can just only change them because the, you deactivate all of them and the more camera does not uh, respect all of its settings and it's look at its own setting. As you can see, if you go in tag, for example, as you can see, the focal length does not change and does not convert to the camera one and it's still going here. And you have to co come to morph camera and change its own focal lens independently it does not depend on the cameras hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release